Thank you so much for joining me on the show today, Ajibola. And I'd like to understand what's playing out there at the futures market. Okay. Hi. Um, thank you very much for having me. So the CBN rolled out the new um, futures prices for the month of May. In our own view, we think or uh, we we have expected this from the last um, prices that was paid on in April. If you notice in April, the April prices... It had moved up across across all the channels to the five to the five years. Um, in April, CBN paid closely about three hundred million in the in the futures in the futures um, maturity. My own view is that CBN is trying to reduce the the monies being paid to maturities in order to just help help them reduce um, their their cost funding, not necessarily ready to move the spot price i don't think cbn is ready to move the spot price on all these maturities but i think that in order to cut costs in order to reduce the cost around the futures markets they're trying to see how they can play it by increasing the cost of the futures so as to pay less when most of those futures matures those are our opinions all right but what does this say about dollar demand and the pressure on the naira well, the dollar demand would not stop. I mean, the economy is opening back gradually. We're seeing, um, we still have lots of FPI still stuck in the market, still trying to exit, exit the emerging market. They're still bent on exiting the emerging market because of the the risk, the risk, the higher risk that is involved, being, being, being that the COVID pandemic is not, they're not seeing any vaccine there soon. So you still see activity pick up, you still see pressure on the FX. Right now, today, the FX market was quite, was quite um very very slow uh, most of people are on beats with the cbn cbn is not selling anything yet um so there's still lots of pressure in the fx market lots of pressure in the fx market and so we don't see these levels play out for long um one would have to move either either the 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 people buying would have to move their prices or in most cases which is what we are likely to see so the fx market is still very very tight as it is All right, but we see that the central bank also resumed dollar sales to local clients this week as well. But um, when are we expecting that for offshore investors? Um, we can say, like I said, we banks have been taking up their bids to the CBN daily, and um, no sale has been done yet. But hopefully, with the with the loan that was given by the IMF, we expect that they would open it up and sell a little. Maybe not all at once, but. Gradually, they should be able to ease that market and sell a few to the market from time to time. But maybe mm, not so much at the instance, because there are other, there are other, there are other sectors of the FX market, if you know. For Nigeria, we have other, lots of sectors. You have the retail, you have the, um, the BDC market, you have the IRE. So there are lots of markets that need that needs intervention right now. So it might have to go in gradually. All right, but what's what's your take on uh, on the treasury bills market as well, and what what, what do you see these the things going on in the in the for the rest of the week? Well, the treasury bills market um, this week there was no omo. People expected that CBN would probably float omo, but there was no omo. So we expect that demand would would, would go high. I mean, the supply has squeezed out across all across all ten, especially at the longer end. So we we'll continue to see demand. We saw a few demand a bit of demand today. On the January, February, and March maturities, Omo maturity, especially on the 30th March maturity, we still expect that to continue tomorrow. Um, for people trying to hold, to you know find where to put, for banks trying to find where to put in their cash, their excess cash, so that would probably continue for the rest of the week for the bill. Since there is no supply, I expect rates will go down, continue to go down. Some of these papers traded around 10.9, 10.8 today, so we expect it to go down further by tomorrow wake up tomorrow market.